Hello everyone. If you're watching this video, then you probably got on your mind moving from a country in the West to Laos in Southeast Asia. And one of the most important things you'll want to consider are your medical and dental care and costs, access, those sorts of things. So let's talk about that in this video. All right, we're out on the farm this morning. If you don't know our story or if you're new to the channel, we moved here a year ago, yeah, beginning of 2023 from the US. So we retired and made the big move. Fawn's family is from Wow, so we came to be closer to her family and to look for a slower way of life. So we've done that. So we've been here for almost exactly a year now. But for us, we were fortunate in that first year in that we uh, were covered in terms of medical and dental by the employer that we had as I was doing this consulting work. And that went through all of 2023. And now 2024, uh, that contract has ended. So, so now we are living truly as locals, spending our own money on medical and other associated costs so I can share with you what uh, what we've spent here recently. But before we get into that, let's maybe just answer the question about the quality of medical and dental care in, in Laos. I know that's been a question in the past. The, this country hasn't had the best record or history in terms of having quality medical or dental care. And in fact, for my um, experience i've heard other expats in the past say that they've always gone to other countries to receive um, serious medical or dental care like thailand for instance uh, is a big country for medical tourism so in the past you've seen a lot of people do that and truly but the quality of care in Laos has improved significantly over the past 20 years since the first time that i've, that I've been here and I can tell you that, yeah, you can, for uh, general medical and dental services, the, the quality is just as good here as it would be any, anywhere else that you could go. And we'll show you, show you some of that later in the video. So we'll go through our experiences. Please stick around to the end so that we can show you a detailed cost breakdown of some of those medical and dental costs. But first, we'll just kind of share our experiences. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also drop your comments. I'd be really interested to see what other people um, in Lao have to say. Maybe you have other comments about medical care or dental care and other uh, suggestions or recommendations on providers. I'd like to hear from all the viewers out there to see what you think. Video. First of all, let's start with dental care. So. I've been to a couple of different dental care facilities here in Vientiane. One is a uh, international dental hospital, and actually that was just for a uh, general teeth cleaning. And I believe that the cost of that service was about a million kits, so about fifty dollars U.S. Quality care, just like any other dentist that I. I've gone to in the U.S., you know, no different experience. So that was last year. Now, just recently, um, or two weeks ago, we found a local dentist in in town. So I believe the, the owner and head of the clinic is originally from Japan. And I believe all the equipment is, is new and imported from Japan, which a lot of clinics here have... Uh, equipment that's that's imported from various countries either europe or japan or korea those sorts of things so yeah we went to this clinic uh, two weeks ago i got my my teeth cleaned uh two weeks ago and that was a total cost of three hundred thousand kip for about fifteen dollars us no insurance and the experience uh the experience in general and either medical or dental or that that i've seen here that's different from my experiences in the us is that 
basically, uh, when you go in, people ask, they'll ask you, what do you need? And there won't be any other discussion about any additional services uh, or additional charges. You just go in, get what you need done, and then and then go out. So that's that was my experience two weeks ago. I went in, uh, went in to get the, the teeth cleaned, and didn't need to have X-rays or anything done. Basically, that's that was it, and it was a pretty quick, painless experience. Uh, I was in and out. Now with with Fawn, she has some work that she needs to have done. She's got some uh, uh, implants, so a little bit more extensive work. She went in last week to have her teeth looked at, so she had x-rays and then sat down for a meeting with the dentist, very professional. The costs that we were quoted for having two implants, so basically the work to have the roots prepped and then have the the implants put in was about 17 million kip or i believe that's about 800 dollars us so those costs are about half of the cost that we were quoted for going to thailand and doing the same same work and probably close to a tenth of the cost of what it would have cost us if we had done the same if she had done the same work in the U.S., so significantly lower cost. So that gives you an idea of the, the quality of dental care that you can get at a fraction of the cost. So she's going to have that uh, work done probably at the end of the month. So we'll do a follow-up video on that just to show you what that experience was like. So one thing that I've seen is there seem to be two different tiers of care, uh, either medical or dental, that I've seen here in Laos. One is um, a level of care or really just services that are available and provided for expats. And these are international clinics or international hospitals. The cost is definitely going to be higher, but they're all, they're all English speaking and, of course, trained in the West. Now, actually, they're, in, from what I've seen, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the local clinics which are significantly lower cost than the international clinics. Um, there may be there are some specialized specialized services that need to be provided, but for us, from what we've needed, we haven't seen really really a drastic difference between those two levels. Now we've gone to the dentist. Similar thing if you look at the medical services. So in terms of hospitals, there are a number of different hospitals all over Jinshan, a lot of local hospitals. There's government hospitals and local clinics and pharmacies. So you get different levels of care depending on where you go at pretty low or, or affordable cost. And then there's also uh, international clinics. There are two international uh, hospitals now in Jinshan. One is um, is Allied, which is, I believe, associated with Boone Brad Hospital out of Bangkok. And then there's another hospital uh, called Kasem Rut Hospital, which is associated with a uh, similar Thai hospital in uh, Bangkok. So you can be sure that you have good quality care. Um, I've heard that stays. Uh, in one of these international hospitals or just like staying in a hotel, you get you know, your own private room, um, foods, you know, everything that, that you need is attended to you as you need it. We have yet to go to a government or a local hospital, so I can't speak too much to that, but it's what's available for the general local Lao people. So it's uh, going to be at a lower cost. And maybe not everyone is English speaking. And so those are the things that you have to kind of take a look at. If you're coming in as an expat to retire and concerned about what medical care you are going to have attended to. I'll flash up a uh, pay schedule from, from Allied. I went there last year for a medical checkup and I received the most comprehensive Checkup, I think I've ever had in my life. 
uh, it accepts everything. I ended up with with a book uh, full of pictures, uh, scans of all my internal organs, X-rays. So pretty interesting the the amount of uh, the level of testing that they do. And I believe for a standard uh, examination, yeah, the cost is about hundred dollars U.S. The pay schedule also was from October of 2023, so it's a little outdated in terms of the the kit uh, because the kit has has fluctuated and gone up even since a year ago. But you get an idea of the level of services provided at the uh, at the cost. And in terms of costs for a local hospital, um, from the information that I was provided, I believe the cost for an examination or a checkup at a local hospital is somewhere on the order of four hundred fifty to five hundred thousand kit, so about twenty five dollars U.S. around around that. So. Yeah, considerably lower than it is at one of the international hospitals. But again, if you look at the the overall cost of living and the average wage that a Lao person, local Lao person, gets, the the um, level of costs at one of the local clinics or hospitals has to be lower in order to make sure that it meets the fundamental ability of people to, to pay for those for those services. So that's why you see that. Again, I think if you're coming as uh, an expat to retire in Lao, if you're if you if you speak Lao or if you have family here, then I think you have the flexibility to to choose which level of service that you're going to be provided and you can feel pretty safe, I think, with, with most. Again, if there's viewers out there that have comments uh, that differ or even support that, just please feel free, feel free to drop a comment and and let everybody else know uh, what you think. If you're a an expat coming in uh, that doesn't speak well, then you may feel more comfortable going to one of the international clinics or the international hospitals. And again, the great thing is that we get really good quality service at one of those clinics based on what we've seen. So I think really there's not a lot of need unless it's a very specialized uh, service of care that's only available outside the country. Then most of what you need can be provided for here, which is different than for what I remember hearing 20 years ago. So I would have to agree that the level of care and the level of services that are provided here now in, in Lao are much better and much more improved than they were a couple of decades ago. So I hope this information has been uh, useful and important to you. Again, to give you an idea if you're considering moving here or retiring to Lao, what some of those anticipated costs might look like. All right, thank you, and we will see you in the next video.